Hi, I'm Steve Blears. Welcome to the Media Training Podcast. This time, do you actually like the show? You know, you, while you're listening to it, are you enjoying it? Can you hear yourself appearing on it? And is it the sort of show that people you'd like to engage would listen to more importantly? Quick sidebar. This is the point where you really have to, how should I put it? Grow some. So today we're talking about appearing on a business podcast, but why should you or your people consider doing this? Well, where do I start? Uh, Well, the last time I checked, there were 2.5 million podcasts globally, and there are lots of established shows covering just about every business niche and interest. But you might say, "Well, well, you know, why a podcast? Well, for most of us, the idea is less onerous than, say, appearing on live TV or radio. You can share your expertise, get known, liked and trusted. Tick, that's what we're all about. And should you have ambitions to attract PR for your organization by appearing on TV and radio, it's a great opportunity to just practice, really get fluent on your subject matter in a kind of safer environment, a less riskier environment. Sound good so far? Well, there are even more great reasons to appear on a podcast. You'll get noticed by the people you want to engage and influence. That could be colleagues, clients, candidates, stakeholders, partners, investors. Yes, you're probably thinking this guy really loves podcasts. (laughs) And you'd be right. So apologies if I'm overselling this idea, but it's such a great opportunity. You really should try it now if you're thinking oh podcast you know a bit a bit niche at the time i recorded this one in five adults in the uk listen to podcasts and they listen for longer you know some podcast episodes are like an hour plus long this one's only short thank goodness now if you appear on tv and radio think about it you're kind of on you're on the evening news for example you're on a radio show and you're kind of gone get quoted in the newspaper you're wrapping fish and chips the next day. I know they don't use newspaper to wrap them anymore, but you get the idea. Podcasts literally linger for years and years. And it's also completely free to appear. Okay, so I'm assuming that I've now sold you on the idea of getting on a podcast. Where do we start? Right, step one, consider your expertise. If you're a leader in an organization, consider the range of expertise in the people around you. You might have people in finance, manufacturing, tech, HR, lots of other areas. Look around you, you'll have a raft of talent and expertise in-house. So as long as they have knowledge, experience, passion for their topic, they have the right credentials to appear on a show. Now, Remember, there are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of business podcasts around covering countless niche subjects. They're constantly looking for great guests. They want go-to experts. They want people who can comment, give their perspectives on stories in your industry. And that will mean that you could sell yourself and sell your organization if you appear. So we've got some expertise. Tick what's next? Let's get into the nitty gritty. Okay, to succeed, you'll need to one, find podcasts that cover your business niche. And two, this is really important. Listen to those podcasts. I can't stress this enough. Listen, listening to a podcast will allow you to get a feel for the topics they cover and the issues they discuss. When you're listening, think to yourself, is this podcast I'm listening to got you know great content that's good quality? Is it a right fit for me? Do people with a similar professional standing to me appear on this show? So if you're an MD, are they looking to speak to other MDs? Or are they actually interviewing the Richard Bransons of this world? So do you fit in that way? Do you actually like the show? You know, you, while you're listening to it, are you enjoying it? Can you hear yourself appearing on it? And is it the sort of show that people you'd like to engage would listen to more importantly? So the other reason to listen is that not all podcasts have guests. Now, this podcast doesn't have any guests. It's just me rambling on. And uh, let me just dig out an email uh, that I got this week. Hi there. Now, how hard would it have been to just put my name in there? 
this person clearly hasn't listened. My name's Brandon, and I'm the owner of SEO Optimizers, spelt with a Z. What? What? I'm reaching out today because I'd love to be a guest on your podcast to talk about SEO. Now, what? This podcast is about media trading, not SEO, you idiot. Delete, okay? Now, I get about five of these spam emails a week. Lots of podcasters do. So don't be one of those people like Brandon that just fires off emails without doing your research. Let's get into how to properly contact a podcast host. Firstly, track down a show that's a good fit for you. You may already have one in mind. You may already listen to one that's in your in your industry. Don't just go for the obvious stuff like diary of a CEO, yeah? Think niche. Ask your friends and colleagues, what do they listen to? Ask for suggestions in groups, you know, maybe try on LinkedIn. Google it, you know, that's a really good way of finding podcasts. And the accepted number one podcast directory is called listennotes.com, listennotes.com. So jump on there and search because apps like Apple Podcasts only display the most successful sort of dozen shows. And there are many, many more that you just won't find on those apps. So try listennotes.com or try Googling. And, you know, search several pages down and you may find a more niche specific podcast that is better suited to your industry. Also, lots of podcasts have been abandoned and discontinued. You don't want to kind of waste your time emailing a cancelled show. Listen Notes will tell you when the last episode was made. If that was more than six months ago, that's not a good sign. So avoid those. So listen to shows, make some mental notes on their format. What country are they based in is in quite, is quite important. Does that show dive into guests' early careers, for example? Do they ask about triumph over adversity? Do they, do they discuss topics that you are involved in in your industry? Find a show where you think, yes, I'm a good, I'm a good fit. I could appear on that podcast. Now, quick sidebar this is the point where you really have to, how shall I put it, grow some. Putting yourself out there can feel daunting, exposing, and that is completely normal. Remember, this isn't live TV and radio. It's just a podcast. They're pre-recorded and edited. So if you say something wrong, you can always do that bit again or say, can I do that bit again? And, you know, podcast hosts aren't horrible and combative like you might hear on a kind of shock jock radio show or bbc radio for today program here in the uk you know they're not there to beat you up it's more of a chat an exchange of ideas they're little more than a zoom call basically easy right we've found some target podcasts we've listened to them how do we get in touch so track down the host's email address most podcasts have a website contact them via linkedin google them and Drop them an email. Here we go. Let's get the keyboard out. Hi. Insert the actual name of the podcast host. Don't say hi there. I'm a regular listener too. Insert the correct name of the podcast. Yeah, you're winning already. Can I just say this sound effect makes me sound like a brilliant typist. Okay, and you continue. Love the show and add a specific comment that shows that you have listened. So-and-so guest, for example, made some great points last week or a specific discussion you've listened to, yeah? Now, importantly, get to your expertise and the opinion you would like to share on their show. So if this was me approaching another media training podcast, I would say something like, I've had a 30-year career working in the highest levels of TV and radio. And my opinion might be, I believe many business leaders miss media opportunities because they just lack comp confidence. Okay, don't forget to drop a call to action in your email. I'd love to appear on your podcast to share my ideas, insights, and expertise. Please feel free to drop me an email or give me a call to discuss. Add your contact details, hit send, fingers crossed. Now, if you don't hear anything after a few days, send a short reminder email along the lines of you know just checking did you spot this are you interested because quite often people are busy they might miss an email just send them a reminder it does work so there we go have a go give it a go most podcasts are re recorded remotely you don't even have to go anywhere 
Um, they use systems such as Zoom or similar software that uses the mic built into your computer. You don't even need any specialist gear. And if you do get invited on a show, make sure you tell the world about it. Share it on LinkedIn, share it on Twitter or X, send a link to your colleagues of the podcast you've been in, put a link in your email footer. People will hear it, get to know, like, and trust you a little better. It'll add instant credibility to you and your organization. People needing your product and service will think, let's try that guest I heard on the podcast. So good luck. If this works for you, drop me an email and tell me all about it. I love to hear success stories. I'm on hello at bitfamous.co.uk. Thanks for listening.